Hey friends, so today we'll be going to be making an awesome swell to-do list tab. As you can see here, here is the to-do list that we can add items, one, two, three, four. You can also mark the items as completed or uncompleted if we want. We can also filter them by active completed. Let's go back to all. And we can see how many of them are left. And we can even clear the completed ones if we want. But what's more awesome about this is that it's even persistent, so we can use local storage. When we refresh the page, it's going to be persistent, and that's awesome. We can even mark all of them as completed, and then we can say clear completed, and that's it. So the source code is of course going to be included in the post if you want to try out the example for yourself together with the instructions. And it's based on this to-do MVC example, as you can see here. So if we go back to the bottom, unfortunately there's no Svelte example for this because this would have been so much easier <laughs> for me. But we can go to the vanilla ES6 example because it's closest to Svelte, I guess. And you can see it's the same thing. So if you haven't before, I highly encourage you to go through the Svelte for Beginners videos or read the post at least before you start your journey on making a Svelte to-do app using problem solving. And why problem solving? Because I wanted to do this slightly bit differently because most tutorials just give you instructions and that's not the best way to learn. So I really want to share my thought process with you, but in a format that's more polished and respectful of your time. So if we go to the project, here's the same example as I walked you through before. And here I mentioned how in the previous Swell for Beginners post, we learned Swell Fundamentals and now it's time to put what we learned into practice. So at the end I told you to go build something, but sometimes it's nice to have a friend to guide you through and that's what this is, because most people are like intimidated to start their own projects, etc. And just following tutorials isn't the best way to learn, but sometimes it's really nice to have someone you feel like is a friend to guide you through it and make you feel like you understand more of it, and that's my goal here. So I also want to share my thought process with you instead of just making you do things because it's not a great way to learn and I'd rather you learn by working on things you care about. I also know from the title of the post that some of you might be yawning like another Svelte to-do app, come on man, but stick with me, like making a to-do app is just an excuse for us to learn more about Svelte. And in another post I'm going to show you how to add tests to have more confidence your code works as expected and it's going to be awesome. And as I said, we're going to be making a to-do list tab based on to-do MVC, which is one of my favorite examples when learning anything new because it teaches us everything we need to know about what we're trying to learn. Because everything you build includes creating, reading, updating, and deleting content. So let's get started.